It is a pleasure and an honor to introduce Karin Beck Dudley, the president and CEO of AASP International. Hi, Karen, and thank you for being with us. Hi, I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks for inviting me. Let's get to the first question, Karen. What were the main challenges in your career as a female academic? <laughs> well, there's so many, uh, and I know we have a limited time, but I came to higher ed in a different path than most other women academics and academics in general. I was actually a practicing attorney at a large law firm. My late husband was an academic, and we decided we wanted to live in the same town. And so my first position was actually as a temporary business law professor. And I found that job through the classified ads. And most people in your audience will not know what the classified ads are, uh, but the newspaper where there's a job posted in it. Uh, and so from there, uh, I then uh, became a department head, a dean, and a variety of other things that we can talk about. But my biggest challenges at the time were that I was the first woman in that particular department. And when I got the tenure track position, I was the first woman in that particular department to be on tenure track. And then I was the first woman actually to have a baby while I was on tenure track at that university. And so uh, then, the, and then the challenges go from there. Uh, but uh, so those are really just balancing uh, being the first of a lot of things, not having the same role models that other people had uh, and actually uh, balancing having children being an academic, doing the research, uh, et cetera, uh, were all pretty major challenges if I think back on it. That sounds pretty much a lot. How did you tackle those challenges? You know, I laughed a lot, consider myself having a good sense of humor. So I didn't take a lot of uh, things personally. It was interesting, like a lot of universities, there was like a men's lunch club, there was a men's golf group, where a lot of informal information was passed to you. Uh, and those, of course, I was not invited to. On the flip side, my husband was also on tenure track and was an academic. And so I got a lot of that informal communication through him. There was also a small group of women across the university. I was in the business school, but there were some women in the arts, of course, in the humanities and in the social sciences. And we really formed what was called the Women and Gender Research Institute to really be that bond uh, that you would have across a university as opposed to being in your discipline area. Uh, and, the, and that was incredibly helpful to have that support group with me uh, as I was a very, very young academic. I started being an academic when I was like 26, 27. So I was not only uh, the first woman, I was also quite young. Very interesting, and that shows us how much the possibility and capability to connect at different levels support uh, people in any context and domain. What are the things that you wish you had known when you started your career in academia? I wish I would have known because I kind of fell into it. I wish I would have known what a great career it was for women. Uh, it's actually a lot more flexible than the practice of law was at the time. Uh, even though there are peaks of time when it's very, very tough and there's lots to do, uh, there's also some downtime and you can control your time. So I wish I might have pursued it actually as a career uh, had I known about it. Uh, so that was one of the first things. The second was on how long the career was. I felt like I had to fit everything in in like those first six years <laughs> to get tenure. Uh, and the career is actually long. Uh, I'm still in higher ed, even though AACSB uh, is not a higher ed institution, it connects with higher ed. And I would have maybe paced myself just a little bit easier, taken a little bit more time um, to enjoy the ride uh, along the way. And, and I encourage young women now to take a, a little bit more time and reflect and not be in such a hurry. But at the time I really was in a hurry uh, and I probably missed some things along the way because I was in such a hurry. Thank you. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Uh, that has been so insightful and I'm sure it's going to be so important for our next generations of leaders to treasure all your suggestions and wisdom you have shared with us. Thank you, and I appreciate being here. Good luck on your project.